What's up, DigiDestins? This is Kyle D, better known as Ride My Avatar. And did you hear the bell? That means it's another day in the market watch. So without further ado, let's dive into the video and talk about maybe some cards you should be checking your bulk for to start moving. So without further ado, let's get into this video and talk about it. So first off, we have Cormon from Battle Omni BTO5. Definitely seeing a dip down, which is kind of good to see. But... It is at least a $5 card. Don't let the 40 cents and 15 cents fool you. This is not where the card's sitting at. Most people are buying even today in that $4 range to almost $5 range quite comfortably. We're looking like $4.25 to like $4, which, okay, we can get with that. So Coromon's definitely, definitely worth it for an uncommon. That card's always going to have good synergy going forward. It's either going into Shine Greymon or into regular War Greymon. So no matter what, there is going to be a Greymon deck that can take advantage of this Coromon. Then on the Europe side, 10 cents to about 1 euro. Caps out at 5. Not many listings, even just for this base. It says it's going down, but to be honest with you, having this low stock quantity... Definitely isn't going down in my opinion. So, Gormon, always going to be solid there. Agumon X Antibody, just still skyrocketing. Fact of the matter is, at the end of the day, if you guys were planning on Max Rarity War Greymon or Shine Greymon, this is a card you're going to need. Quite expensive, 70, almost $71 and rising. To be honest with you, I don't see this card coming down anytime soon. And that's just because people are willing to pay this price. And BT9 isn't going to get a reopen or a reprint anytime soon. And it's going to be hard to get your hands on. So with Agumon X Antibody Alternate Art, this is expected to be expensive going forwards. On the Europe side, though, definitely looking pleasant, actually. A little bit cheaper. Half our price, 35 euros and 64 cents. About, And then going right to 40 euros quite comfortably. Then jumps up to 42 to 43. Then 45 then all the way to 60. It's starting to catch up with us, but it's not as terrible as us right now in 70. And they're kind of having the same trend as us. We were kind of in that 35 range for a bit. Go to 40, then 50, then 60, and now 70. So definitely good card all around. Agumon X Antibody from the extra pre-release. Pre so when it comes down to certain cards, especially when you can't get the max rarity, a lot of people will pick up the pre-release stamp as the mid-tier rarity because it gives it at least a foil shine. So your deck is a little foily and a little more your preference of a rare. So definitely taking a look at it. You're looking at 14s all the way to 20s to 25s. Not terrible. It's going to be expensive. It jumps up pretty quickly, but I it's going to be another hard card. But I'm just trying to give you an alternative that you might want to pick up on. You can always just go base rarity too. On the Europe side, looking like three euros, four euros, and then five euros. Not terrible, bumping up. Then we have Davis and Ken from New Awakening BTO8, sitting at $2 actually, Play, playing there comfortably. Not terrible, Davis and Ken is still a very powerful tamer, especially with possibilities of seeing competitive play with Imperial Jermon for maybe Ulti Cup. I mean, it's a little bit of a struggle, but with now a complete benefit of having blue-green cards, you should be able to play the deck kind of decently, but we'll have to see how that goes. Looking like two to about threes, and then kind of bumps up from there. Not terrible. People are buying in the $2 range, so definitely this isn't the full art, by the way. So it's at least 2 to $3. It might be worth digging out your bulk, list it up, get some money out of it. That's not terrible, actually. You make some decent profit. Your upside looking at it is 50 cents to one euro. Then just climbs up from there. Nothing too terrible, in my opinion. But that is not bad. Card is still good. Davis from Ken Bach Topper, New Awakening. Now we're going to look at the max rarity version. Sitting at six to seven, lightly plays. Near mints are looking like $8, which isn't terrible, but get your full play set is right here at 8 bucks. Not bad at all. 
you can definitely do a lot with that. So let's take a look at this. Ken and Davis for his promo on the Europe side. Five euros to six euros. All the way to 10. So plenty of stock in the six euro range to about eight euro range. Then it kind of just goes a little crazy from there. But not terrible. Definitely Imperial German love. Ty Camilla from Release Special Booster. Definitely holding its price range in that $2 range. So if you guys have this original set and you have extra rares, especially worth kind of moving this for 2 bucks, it's not a bad deal. You get some decent value and you can make some profit off of... Basically, if you ever found this in the wild, would guarantee you half your money back from the pack. So I don't think that's terrible. Oh, no. Wow. Thanks, Ty. So is BT2. Ah, car market. Stop it. Let's see. And we get the BT2. BT2 tie. BT2 tie. Uh, no. There we are. So on the Europe side, looking like one euro to two euro range. Not terrible, but definitely worth keeping an eye on. Good card all around. It's definitely some decent profit to be made. Then we have Lusamon from Great Legends. So I wouldn't touch this really. I know that Lusamon got announcement for its final form. Well, minus the Larvaro form, the... um. Dragon mo form that it has is coming in BT15. That was kind of an image spoiler. It's not guaranteed. They just took stock images and loaded up. Who knows what that's going to be. But people are thinking because it's Apocalypse, it's going to be the most powerful Apocalypse Mon. Plus, it's just the villain set in general. Lusamon's final form. So... I wouldn't touch this one with a 10 foot pole just because by that time we do have the reprint set in circulation. This will definitely be another chance of getting the card and investing to it now is not worth it. In my opinion, you're going to waste money just for this card to dip down. But again, it's on player preference. If you're going to do anything, get the alternate art. It's $14 pair the $10 price here on the Europe side. Doesn't look like, oh, wow, it's nine. It goes from 10 euros, 12, 13s to 15s very quickly, actually. Crazy. But plenty of stock going around. Definitely quite expensive for the card, but hey, like I said, you do get a reprint of it. Now we have Luxemon Chaos Mode from Next Adventure. No reprint in the reprint set for this card. Mm -hmm. So this is vital importance because you have like 24s, 26. This card is going to go up the moment that the the third form is revealed just the same thing happened with lusamon the regular lusamon it spiked up because chaos mode was even just announced and that's what's going to happen it's going to get spiked up spiked up spiked up and it's going to be expensive so right now would probably be your best time to invest into it until we get an announcement of like the second reprint set and then this card should be in there but until then we expect this to be expensive europe side looking like 24s 30s euro range not too bad but it's kind of expensive as well it shows a downward trend but it's definitely going up now we have rise graymon x antibody from x record definitely seeing a dip down but to be honest with you we're looking at three dollars kind of comfortably but even here's like two two dollars and 47 cents but i'm taking into account when i say like three dollars 350 or anything like that it's just because I check in the shipping, and if you were just to buy a single card, shipping does count into your numerics. So, Rise Greymon X Antibody, just the regular art, not terrible. And then we have Rise Greymon X Antibody BT09. On the Europe side, looking like 20 cents, 44 cents, 50 cents to 1 euro. Not terrible, definitely on the lower end paired to us, which is good to see. Then we have Sukuyamon Alternate Art from Digital Hazard. Definitely climbing up because of the EX4, EX4 support coming out. Do I think this is going to be played? Actually, no. I think this one is just... You shouldn't be touching this one. To be honest with you, I think you should be going after its evolved form, the Maid Mode. Because they both do something similar to each other. So, definitely keep this in look. Um, 
19s, 20s. It's definitely going up, boys and girls. But to be honest with you, do I say invest in it? Probably not. Your upside, um, 18 to 20 euro range. Not terrible, but definitely expensive card. So now we have Sukuya Mon Made Mode. So it's a $4 card right now. The reason why I'm saying this is because it actually combos well with a new Sukuya Mon or Kazuman. They both do a similar effect with five cost options. So I think instead of worrying about the plugins, take advantage of the five cost option pool. You have a lot of better uses there. I think being able to play, let's say, the mem boosts or you know megalo spark or anything like that can lead to being very powerful in a, its own right so being able to have effects like this is really useful and you know when attacking this digimon may digivolve into a sukuya in your hand for a cost of warning ignoring its digivolution requirements so then you get to double activate two options which could help remove threats off the board so that's just me I mean, yes, you can play it how you want, but I think Sukuyamon main mode is going to be more valued than it Sukuyamon is later down the road. But that's just me. Europe side looking like um, two euros to five euro range paired to ours was just a few dollars, which isn't terrible, which is good to see. So about four bucks. So we're kind of in the same price range, but jumps up right to six pretty quickly. But good spot to talk about is Card Trader. Definitely, if you guys want two free dollars from Card Trader, use the link down below to gain some free money. Why not get yourself some cards that you might need? And if you guys start lo loading up from overseas, you can transfer and sell good cards that way. You know, they collect everything and then ship it out when you're ready for it. So they build a big repertoire. They verify, which is good because if you were to order something off eBay or something like that, you would get the same kind of response instead of gambling with, let's say, you know, TCG player that says near mint, but the guy sends you light play. They at least have somebody verifying the product coming to you that is worth the condition it's supposed to be in. So stuff like that is worth keeping in, in consideration. Next card we're going to talk about is Hexamon from Jurassic War. Definitely seeing a downfall. Let it keep dropping. I can't wait to pick this up when it hits like 10 bucks. Could it drop further? For sure. But who knows? It's in the $21 range. Jumps up to 25 But we'll have to see. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Europe side looking like 25 to 30 to 34 euros to 35 euros to 40 to 60 is this cap wow not terrible not terrible at all it's good good value here definitely then we have bielzaman starter deck alternate art from starter deck 14 this card is coming down this comes a little bit after a hit on the deck people don't like holding on to expensive cards they just don't find interest in it and again it's a two of in the deck once you start opening these up and more and more keep cycling in people aren't always just gonna want this card just saying your upside going for 200 like 190 euros basically in this range kind of then it jumps up to like the astronomical prices definitely seeing it coming down which is good <coughs> then you have bialzaman digital hazard ex02 definitely seeing a down climb which is good well there was at least three printings of this card so it better come down so 15s 16s 17s not terrible at all Europe side, looking at it, 13s, 15s, not terrible, not terrible. But let's take a look. Seven full cluster across time pre-release cards, definitely falling down. Not terrible, which is good to see it come down, which we want to see. Beelzemon is still a good deck. I think this is just people just wanting to move the deck because it got hit and they just don't feel competent of getting their free wins anymore. So that's going to be huge. Seven full cluster on the Europe side. 5 euros to 8 euro range. Not terrible. Then we're going to look at Black War Greymon Revision Pack. $9 going up. People do like to have their correct text, but it was definitely a cheaper card at one point because there was enough stock and made sure that people that wanted to play War Greymon, Black War Greymon, they gave them easy access to the cards they needed. But now it's up to 10 bucks, following closely to its predecessor. Then on the Europe side, looking like Kind of what we had before, you know, two euros, three euros. You know, it does have 
one euro and 25 cents. Not terrible. Then 7,000 euros. I don't understand people. Then we have Nokia box topper from Battle Omni. Definitely keep this on your radar because it's going up, boys and girls. It's definitely seeing play in the Alter S deck. If you guys have plans and intentions of playing that deck, you should keep an eye on this card because this card actually sees play in that deck. So it's worth just keeping an eye on. Europe side, though, looking at it, we're looking like 7, 8 euros paired to our 10s. Not terrible. Then we have Nikolai, alternate art dimensional phase. Definitely seeing a lot of climb up. A lot of people are hyped for, you know, the Mirage Galga support. But just letting you know, the deck, even though the trainers are there, the deck's not doing as you think. The trainers definitely help the deck out, speed up, because now you can grab a Tamer or the Digimon you need. That helps out a lot. But definitely seeing some climb up here. $15. It was just the other day and had like a $7. But I think that was just somebody trying to manipulate the market. But hey, you know, the card's going to be expensive. So Nikolai on the Europe side, it's not looking too terrible. Um, five euros, kind of what we had before the buyout. So now it's kind of expensive. But it's good to see Nikolai. You guys don't hype into Mirage Galga just yet. I think Shine Greymon is still the deck to be top dog, but we'll have to see what happens. Then on the Europe side, Akihiko, alternate art reasons I'm bringing her up. She's like a $10 card with the shipping. She's 12 actually. Okay. So the reason I'm bringing this up is something you want to pay attention to Akihiko is that once we get BT15 reveals, if the Biomon support combos really well and the Ace combos really well with it, this deck can see probably some consistency boost and some decent value this way do keep an eye out keep some pay attention to but it's worth just keeping it on your radar for sure akihiko on the europe side seven euros to ten euros then bumps up to 15 pretty quickly so definitely not terrible definitely keep an eye out on her then let's talk about hades force dimensional phase if you guys have this lying around in your bulk it was like a 40 cents card now it's like a three dollar card boys and girls and it's climbing though guys don't go too crazy we do have the europe side looking like three cents 30 cents 50 cents not terrible then hades force store top four dimensional phase bt11 just giving you a heads up boys and girls there's a winner stamp of this so this is not even the top so if you get first place you get the winner plus top four so that's really nice but keep this in mind there is a newer coveted card on top of it so if you guys want to have the winners you're gonna have to keep play hardcore this this month so but looking like 30s 38s kind of just sitting there expensively and that's just because this is the second rare and this is also let's be honest there's no winner yet to be listed on the europe side looking like 20 euros to 150 euros <laughs> ah you are people who really get me funny i love it but guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Stay safe. Stay healthy. And I'll catch you next one. Peace.